um, unlocking, screwing, um, shaking. Yeah, Rubik's cube. Yep. Blowing balloons. Um, air balloons. No. Helium. Oh, uh, balloon. Making a balloon. <laughs> Making a balloon animal. Oh, oh, oh it's done. Um, gaffing your car. <laughs> Jogging, dancing, strolling. Wow. What? A um, pass? I did it early. Hiking? Straightening your hair? Cutting your hair? Salon? Basically, but. Uh. <laughs> makeup artist? Verb. Cutting your hair? Saloning. <laughs> Going to the salon. Getting my hair cut. At the salon. Not getting, but. but okay, cutting pass. somebody's hair! Cutting hair! Pass. Uh, Giving a haircut. Um, hose, water hose, uh, watering the uh, garden. <laughs> Flashlight. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, we almost ah! passed. That. Fridge. I was realizing. Wait a minute. The watermelon was literally like this big. How did I get two pots from the watermelon? And I just like instantly was like, this is a miracle. <laughs> like, the, like the loaves and the fish, because I just, it did not make any sense to me. How to do this. So recently my dad has been teaching me this. And um, so that's the question, I guess, that David asked. tells us that you don't, if you know God, you have no need to panic. If you have a relationship with God, there's no assurance of, of, of protection. There's no confidence in knowing what's going to happen after all of this. But the Bible tells us that God is in control. And the Bible tells us that um, one day, His Son, Jesus Christ, will return to the earth and establish His eternal, everlasting kingdom. And if you put your trust in Jesus Christ, you will have the guarantee of eternal life. So that no matter what happens to you in this life, in this lifetime, you will be glorified with God and you will know Him forever. Your only enemy is Satan and yourself. We stand, we stand in between us and God. You stand in the way. Sir, I'm sorry, but you're not allowed to record inside here. Can you turn that off, please? The time is running out. I don't have any kind of weapon. You got a car or you got a car? Except the word of God. I do have a car. I'm with my friend. Okay. Jesus is the way. He's the truth and the life. What are you going to do, my friend? Call upon his name. He's coming again. This young man who has a chuckle on his face, if he doesn't know the Lord, he will be, he will perish. But I don't want you to perish, and I don't love you near as much as God does, but I love God and I do love you. <laughs> Jesus loves you enough to tell you, to warn you about what's to come, my friend. I don't want to put you in here. Are you willing to turn to Jesus? Are you willing to repent from your sin? Are you willing to forsake wickedness so that you can be delivered? I mean, have, these cops have better things to do with their time than to come to a man preaching. For what reason? Show up, sir. Where's your vehicle? Jesus is the way. You intend on leaving soon? Yes. Or is he going to come and preach? Well, we're, I mean, I was going to wait for you. Well, you can get go through, and I'll wait. And I'll, I'm waiting for you. I'll preach till you go. Wait, what's he doing right now, though? He's on Le private he's, property. He's so. leaving. This is private property. Yes, yes. I'm not leaving yet. Until this whole parking lot. The parking lot's private property. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Folks, Jesus died yeah. for you. Okay, well, go inside. We can definitely go inside now, okay? All right. Use you the service because you were there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. You don't want to go back in and say, wait. They were, I already tried. I was in there and there was five of them looking at me and they were saying, he was, he was with them. They're, and then they were like, how do you know he's with them? And I was like, and I said, because I'm with him. I said, and then they were like, yeah, he's with him. And he was, um, I knew it. 
I knew we it. We drove for that. I know, long. but I still knew it. I don't know why. Really? But I want. I didn't want to jinx it, so I didn't say anything. Uh, I'm gonna have to ask somebody. So the car's dead. Um. So yeah, and then this this one guy accused me of filming the whole time, which I got one or two clips. Uh, but this guy was like, no, he was filming the whole time, and she was saying stuff. She was saying everybody, something. Everybody, you, you could tell. Woo, that small town. Yeah, that mentality. small town. They're not used to this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, what, what's, now I'm, I'm sure. I'm, I asked someone who was in there kicking me. Hey, do you mind jumping? Me? Yeah, he got es escorted out of the store, and then. Um, I tried to go back in and pay for our groceries, but they originally they said they'd let me, but he was like, okay, yeah, man. He, he didn't believe me that I was coming back, but then I did. And uh, he was like, he was saying, you're with him and you're filming and we don't want you. And I was like, okay. Shopped for about 45 minutes and didn't get any groceries. Dang. That was some good groceries I wanted, but see, it's like whatever. It's like obedience, or it's like yeah. That's why. Well, it's and then costly I and then I told him like, I, if it were me running that store, I'd be like, sure, I want some money, you know. Yeah. Like <laughs> I, know. I, we dealt with that situation, but I would still like your business, yeah. you know. But anyways, they didn't want my business. So, so one thing I find interesting is people are people were telling us this isn't the place to preach inside of a grocery store. It's just kind of funny. They're like, well, why don't you go to church and do that? And we're like, churches are closed. It was just kind of funny to see people's reactions because I was like, is there anywhere else open where we can reach people with the gospel? And then just their faces are like, oh, I guess not. You know, kind of that real realization. I haven't explicitly stated what took place since the last vlog, but basically felt God call us up here and then it seems as though we'll be here one more week and then we don't know what's going on after that. So we're hoping things die down. Uh, all the beaches are closed in Southern California. But for those of you who may be thinking that we're taking this whole thing too lightly, we're not. We're not taking it lightly. We're respecting the government. We're respecting people's wishes, staying six feet apart, all that stuff. Just keep in mind that you guys watching the vlog, you're not seeing everything. So just keep that in mind. I think a lot of people just see the vlog and then they go, oh, they have this picture in their head of what things are like. But re in reality, there's 24 hours a day. You're only getting an eight to 18 minute video from a couple days worth of life. So the only problem is I just don't know what God is calling us to do next. It was for sure that he called us up here for a time. And so I'm just, we're, it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out. Like, is this quarantine thing gonna last? We're still feeling it out. Uh, we're still happy to accept your prayers. So, other than that, see what God does.